I gave myself two whole weeks to learn Unity from scratch. I went from knowing absolutely nothing to being able to make this. I know it really doesn't look like much, but I have learned a lot. And this is how I did it. Godot was the first game engine I ever used. Since then, I have touched some others like Unreal Engine, but every time I open that program, my PC turns into a ball of fire. And also more niche game engines like RPG Maker, which were really fun to use, but felt really restricting. Despite all the time I've spent making games, I'm still yet to touch the most popular game engine, Unity. Although Unity may or may not have been involved in a minor controversy, just a little oopsie on their engine, no, no, no biggie really. I still feel that it is important I give a fair chance to all game engines and make sure that I use the most suitable one for my needs. Especially since I have quite a large scale project in the works with some friends and we need to make sure we pick the right game engine. One of the main reasons I find Unity so appealing is the amount of resources you can find online. No matter how obscure your problem may be, there's definitely a video online that can help you fix it. Additionally, Unity has a lot of built-in support for certain programs you plan to use in the future, such as Maya 3D for modelling. But before I can get into making anything like that, I have to actually learn Unity first. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to keep following. So my first day of learning Unity, I opened it up, started a new 2D project, got very overwhelmed by the menus and UI, and then I closed it and played Sims. Overall, a really productive day. On my first real day of learning Unity, I went straight to GMTK's Unity tutorial. GMTK's videos are always really insightful, so I thought it was a great place to start. The overall layout of Unity is fairly similar to that of Godot. So it wasn't long before I felt comfortable in the new environment. I then continued to follow along with the tutorial until I had this. Flappy Bird really is just the hello world of game engines. It's such a simple concept, but it teaches you so much. In the past, I found that utilizing video tutorials can be really good, but it's important to not get in a trap of watching a video and just diligently following each step and not understanding what's being done. So keeping that in mind, I completely ignored it and just made a Gario from a video step by step. Sure, I did make a Gario in Unity, but it wasn't mine. I didn't understand the code fully, and when I came to the start my next project, I had literally zero clue on where to begin. So I started again from scratch. No main goal for a game in mind, I just wanted to make something, and that's what I did. Linda. After waiting for what felt like an eternity for Unity to make a new project, the first thing I wanted was just to make a little guy who moves around when you click WASD. So I spent a lot of time just reading through some documentation and watching various videos online and also getting confused and overwhelmed by input systems. But after about an hour, I finally made my small little guy that can move. I then got very carried away and made many things without recording. I first added enemies that follow the player. When these enemies die, they drop coins and the players can collect those. And of course, like any game should, there's a gun. The game was really starting to come together and I was proud of the progress I made learning Unity. I really started to feel comfortable with the engine. Due to the sheer number of resources I could find to help me and also being slightly familiar with C Sharp made the learning experience much more enjoyable. And the jump from Godot to Unity really didn't feel as big as I thought it would have. Anyways, back to the game. I want the player to use the coins they've collected to purchase upgrades as the run continues. And as the run continues, the game progressively gets more difficult by spawning more enemies and maybe having a different variety of enemies too. I added these two buttons on screen. One is to add health points back to the player that they may have lost, and the other increases the movement speed of the player. Each of these costs the player 5 coins and can be purchased as many times as they want. Eventually, I'll add some balance into this, like maybe the cost grows exponentially because right now the player can get very fast very quickly. But the main upgrade that I want players to purchase are different weapons. The easiest weapons I could think of making was a shotgun spread shot kind of thing, I don't know, and also a fully auto shot. Oh, that's not cool. This is that's a lot of Damn, bro. And they were actually quite easy to make. I just made it some small changes to the existing code for the gun I already had, and also added a way for the player to switch between the guns freely. As the player cycles through their different weapons, the current weapon equipped is always shown at the bottom right. 
However, the player does start with all three weapons, and eventually I'd like to create a dedicated shop menu for the player that they can purchase these weapons from, and they don't have the ability to use them until they're purchased. I'd really like to expand the entire shop of this game just to have a massive variety of different things you could buy. It would introduce like some sort of build variety, like you could either like max out health and become a tank, or you could just maximise your damage. Although the game is incredibly simple right now, I feel if I keep working on it, it could be really fun to play. And eventually I can make it even look better by learning how to use shaders, or finally take the time to learn the job system in Unity, which I'm a bit scared to start, but it would, it would help. But for now, that's it. That's all I've made so far. I have also tried some really small other side projects in Unity, such as this sad excuse of a 3D game. I just wanted to see how the 3D environment in Unity worked. This poor little capsule guy just keeps falling over and I don't know how to fix it. But that's something I'm excited to learn about in the future. Overall, I've really enjoyed my time with Unity so far, and I'm really happy I have given it a chance. Godot is still the love of my life, an icon, a work of art. However, for my upcoming project with friends, we will be sticking to Unity for many of the reasons I pointed out earlier. Plus, using Unity aligns with what we're doing at university more, so it's just a better fit. And about this big project, I will hopefully have a video up in the near future where I can fully elaborate on my team's idea for a game, but all I can say for now is that it is very cool, and it's gonna happen, I promise. If you want to follow the art process for the game that we're gonna be making, check out this channel. It'll be in the description too. Anyways, I promise I will upload more, I, I swear, I swear. Okay, goodbye. Like and subscribe, otherwise, uh, um, uh, family guy.